Most of us have never lived through anything like this pandemic before. There's no pandemic playbook. There's no instruction manual for getting through this. We're all just kind of making this up as we go along, aren't we? But lots of people are doing the best they can. And as the summer wears on and there's really no end in sight, the hardest part of this experience perhaps is that we might become overwhelmed or depressed, angry by the changes forced on our lives. Some can be terrified of the potential harm done to us by this virus and to those we love. Some folks have become depressed, retreated into themselves, becoming trapped inside with fear. Well, I hope that we individually don't become like those towns of Chorazin and Bethsaida Jesus mentions in the gospel today. Chorazin and Bethsaida were villages where Jesus preached the gospel of hope and where Jesus healed the sick. Places where Jesus actually stood and where he came to move the hearts and the minds and the souls of the people. But even with the personal presence of Jesus, nothing changed in those places. The faith and hope of those stubborn people did not budge an inch. And today, Chorazin is rubble. And Bethsaida, no one knows for sure where exactly it was. Now within this pandemic, God is working wonders. The sacrifice of doctors and nurses who risk their lives to care for the sick. Volunteers who keep pantries and homeless shelters open for the poor and those especially hard hit by COVID-19. Those who work long shifts to keep city and towns and facilities working, providing us with the supplies that we need. You know, just you wearing your mask and keeping your distance can be a sign of God's loving care right here in our midst. God continues to work wonders of healing and restoration, even today, right here. This pandemic is definitely going to change us. May it all change us for the better. And unlike Chorazin and Bethsaida, let's be living and thriving centers of faith, hope, and love. May Almighty God bless and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a Restoring Tuesday.